Oh, how do that, chums? Sorry for the whole looking around. I'm looking underneath my visor. Anyway, I'm going to be playing No Man's Sky. I'm going to do a bit of fishing in VR. So this is my first time experiencing VR fishing in No Man's Sky. I've built a nice little fishing lodge in flat mode at the end of the expedition. And I'm going to go visit that. So here's my lovely shippity ship. Oh. I appear to be in the ground. There we go. Boom. Freaking love this ship. Look at the textures on that, all rusted and that. And you can tell that it's the expedition planet. There's bases like literally everywhere. This is freaking awesome. Right, well, what I need to do is just check my settings, make sure I haven't got it on easy fishing mode. So let's so scroll on down. And we've got fishing. We've got it on standard. That do. I think that's a good way to experience this. Oh, sorry about all these notifications coming up. Let's head on over here. Boom! It's the old family chat. I don't know if you can see that or not. But there we go. Anyway, let's hit this up then. So, how do I change my weapon again? Oh, yeah. I need to get my multi tool. Lovely. And we need to switch it from Scatter Blaster to. Ah, uh, mode. No. No, 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 no. I guess that's the one. No, <laughs> we have a rod, people. We have a rod. Okay. Now, how do I put the bait on over here? Bait. Sweet. We've already got the bionic lure on, so that's what we want. Okay. This feels off, but how do I cast? Okay, this might take me a little while to work out. All right. Yeah, I've got the bait on. I'm aiming it at the water. You know what? I can't see a way to actually cast this out. Okay, well, I've jumped onto Twitter. And they say that you pull the trigger and... Uh, I tried that! Okay, all right, fine. It works. So basically, you pull the trigger and flick. I tried that. Obviously... Obviously didn't do it properly. There we go. We've got a fishy on a little dishy. Boom. We got one. Come on. New heaviest sweet water minnow. Okay. So you hold the right trigger and just gently flick. Maybe I was flicking too hard. This is actually quite chill, to be fair. Boom! In you come, little fishy. Chicka boom. So you don't really get the targeting thing, which was really throwing me, because you know you can actually choose where you fish in sort of flat mode. I'll try flicking a little bit harder and see if I can cast a bit further and see if that works. Well, there we go. Catch another fish. Very nice. Okay, let's try a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, I cast a lot further that time, didn't I? Pretty nice. Cool. Go on, take it, you little git. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, I got an S class. I got a new heavier singing sea snail. Pretty darn nice. I would like this if it was daytime right now. Oh dear. Okay, well, I guess I've got to put that away to see. I'm trying to see what time of day it is. Um, star bulb. Oh, it's it's eight o'clock at night. I've got a long time to wait until daytime comes around. But I would like to show you this in the day, really, in VR, isn't it? So I've got a bit of waiting. OK, John, so while we're waiting for day to roll in, I might as well tell you what I think of the skiff. Now, the skiff, you can recolor it. I do like some of these little animations on it. It's quite quirky. I love the canopy. That looks freaking awesome in VR. This looks very basic, the fish finder, but it does what it does. Now, let's just put this away for a second. Let's interact with this storage container, shall we? Um, yeah, doesn't want to interact with a storage container, funny enough. Whatever reason, it just keeps interacting with that. Apply different customizations. Interacting with the storage container in VR, it pops up every now and again. You see it pop up? There you go. 
it's a little bit tricky on oh my days and look at this inventory I have to put my head right back to see what the fudge is going on here okay and I can do quick transfer with B so I transfer those over but look how close this is it's I don't think they've overly tested this they could have done could they I'm gonna put my bait in there get that back all right well there we go and look at this this is almost full you only get 10 slots outside of the expedition how bizarre yeah oh okay you have to look at it with your head like that otherwise it's just locked onto this the whole freaking time for some reason it's it's not on the console it's on this platform as well that seems a bit freaking wonky but yeah a little bit haphazard but it does work in a roundabout way Okay, jump. So, say if I want to move my skiff. Okay, so if I go to quick menu, go to this, and I have to scroll all the way over. It's the right trigger. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Come on. Oh, wrong menu. That menu. Right trigger. If I just pick the skiff again, and then point where I want it to go. So if I want to move over into the deeper water, about there, boom. Now the skip that I'm standing on should gently move its way there. Inside of non-VR, it would be moving right now. Inside of VR, I don't think it works. Let me try that one more time. Yep. Oh. Yeah, and then I want to point it down somewhere. Come on, come on. Yeah, there. That'll do. Let me get rid of the fishing rod. Okay. It feels a little bit haphazard. You know what I mean? Um. Your point and it sometimes appears sometimes doesn't it's not done by your eyesight like everything else is in this game it's done by your magical hand there we go i just summoned it is my boat is it actually moving i don't know where i think it is i think it's moving it is moving look we're going towards this yes it's moving it does work it's just very very finicky to control but the skiff does actually move inside of vr and i'm not feeling any motion sickness yes it's moved i love the glass bottom actually this makes a lot more sense in vr doesn't it it really does how oh, cool but yeah the skiff is now moving out into deeper ocean now the reason why i might want to move it into deeper ocean is i want to see what happens when the waves kick in you know so we've moved it a little bit let's go into the old quick menu again let's try that again let's just see if it was sheer fluke select that move it around till i see it boom is it now moving again it's not as obvious in flat mode that in, in vr that you're moving but i think i am i'm moving i'm going there heck yes and we'll be out in deeper ocean in a moment so hopefully when the waves kick in i'll be able to tell you whether it it does make me feel you know motion sickness which i really hope it doesn't i did have a nice dinner i don't want to waste it on the floor heck no okay chums i'm now in deeper ocean and these aren't even big waves but every now and again it does bob i can feel it the inertia it does make my belly go a little bit mm, okay how cool i think i'm gonna move further. oh look there we go look i see it moving we're going up and down yeah oh, 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 oh it's tipping it's tipping it's tipping i would imagine when the storm hits in vr it could really turn your stomach yeah oh those flying creatures look pretty gnarly over the the waves there okay chums look the sun is coming up we've got these critters flying over the old landscape there oh this looks freaking ace it really does this looks beautiful in fact you know what let's just go into options one second options let's go into graphics and display now i turned the reflections to enhanced i'm going to put it to ultra and apply oh look at the water now 
Holy moly. That is cool. Maybe it's a little bit too high. I'm not seeing the reflection of the creatures in the lake. Oh, here comes a storm as well. Anyway, let's try a little bit of fishing in a stormy, beautiful day. Look at the, oh, I say beautiful stormy day. I think it's going to get a little bit, it, this could get a bit choppy. All right, so let's see what the waves do to this little skiff. Now I'm in deeper water. And let's see how that affects my fishing. It's quite early in the day and it's gone quite dark again now. I can see a freaking monolith over there, whatever it is. We go. Oh, the waves are kicking in. And are we going to get a fish on? Yep, we got a fish on. There we go. Let's get him. Oh, yes, I can feel the skiff moving as well. We got ourselves a new heaviest marrow shark. Okay, this is this is fun. Holy moly. Okay, let's go for another fish. Wow. The skiff is moving. Oh, this is insane in VR. Holy mackerel. Oh. In fact, I would say the skiff might even be a little bit more stable in VR. It doesn't seem to be as tilty, and I think that's for obvious reason. Ugh. Okay, fishing in VR in No Man's Sky. Ah, oh, it's freaking great. Look at those waves. Wow. I'm more, I'm more interested in looking at the planet than doing the fishing though. Oh, it's so cool. Wow. Oh, this is, this is quality. Right. Cool. I'm hoping this is all recording okay. It looks okay from what I can see out the bottom of my visor. Yeah. We've got another fish. What did we get that time? New heaviest deep water angler is kind of behind there. There you go. Yeah, there's quite a few things that obscure your view in VR. Let's, uh, let's try and cast off the back. Boom. Oh, there's lightning going on over there. Look at my base. Oh, that looks sweet. I better watch my float to be fair. Ah, oh, lightning rock, rocking in. I'm actually quite a distance moving my little skiff. Well, this looks like it's a big fish. We got a sun spine basket. You know what, let's go back to my base since the, the weather's getting a bit mental. And I'll show you around my little fishing lodge. Oh, look at the lightning. Oh my days, okay. We try those auto fishes in a bit as well but in here i have got a galactic trade terminal so i can sell my fish nice and easy peasy let's have a look at the menus on this and it knocks you back there you see so if i go to sell i can easily sell my fish from this menu here now i've also got storage containers behind this so i can put all my fish into storage if i want or i can cook them in this and this menu feels a very broken hmm I'll stick a turtle in there. Let's see what the turtle turns into. You can't really see what it's turning into. Boiled flippers. Okay, begin. So you make your boiled flippers. And when you put your boiled flippers over to that side, that's going to make... Find out... I don't know. I don't know what that's going to make. I don't think it's going to make much, to be fair. So if I get something else that I've already refined, like this mollusk, and put that in there, I'm going to get some sort of stew what else have i got that i can stick in there it's really hard to see it since it's inside of the freaking refiner i haven't refined anything oh, yes, i have i've got some legs there put those in it turns into a some sort of seafood bounty or something but we'll begin that and that is worth seventy-one thousand units that which isn't a great deal I don't really know what fishing brings to the game. In VR, I mean, yeah, it's brought a whole new dimension of play in. And now I'm going to build bases by the coast a lot more often, put little jetties out here. I'm going to be using these little uh, pods to catch fish. I just don't know to what end, you know? I've got some storage containers here, so I can just stick all this in the storage containers. So I've got a proper little fish farm going on now. 
Go on, Bob back up so I can put it in the container. These menus are freaking janky. Okay, that one's a bit better at distance. But yeah, I think Hello Games needs to do a little bit of work on VR. For the menus. I can't really get to that one, can I? Let's, uh, let's go fly over here. Let's see if I can look at it from here. Can I get it? Yes, I can. There we go. Oh. I'm just going to put all those inside my storage container. See, I've got, a, I've got a massive storage container. I've got two storage containers underneath me right now. So there's one in under here. I don't know whether I can get to it without popping into the ocean. There you go. So I've got this one here. Oh, it's got insufficient power at the moment. Well, why is that? Okay. Build menu. Right, let's go to the wires. Let's just make sure I wired the dang thing in. I bet I didn't. I plugged that one into that one. And I plug this one into my power hub, which is round here, over here. Let's just plug it into the side there. There we go. Now let's try interacting with these. I'm surprised I could put stuff in storage if it didn't have no power. But there's all my fishes there. I have to put my head under the water to see them. Again, it'd be nice if you could move these screens around. But you can't. Currently, anyway. And I've got nothing in that one. But there we go. It, it's mainly, you know, the whole menu thing that makes this a little bit more frustrating than it needs to be. But inside of here, I'm growing some feces and I'm growing some gamma because to make that um, sort of bit of bait that I've been using to catch legendary fish, the ion one or whatever it's called, whatever I've got on my bait at the moment. Let's have a look at bait. That one, the bionic law. To make the bionic law, you need lubricant. So I can mix the feces with the gamma to make the lubricant. Then I just need some salt and turn that into chlorine. And then it's pretty much there when it comes to making new bait. But I've got a little fireplace with a chimney. You can see some smoke popping out the top of the chimney there. I've got these heads of these beasties on the wall. Got myself some nice little throws down, which is pretty lovely. And uh, I've got the posters up that I got in the expedition. I'm actually inside of my diver's gear, not that you would know. Um, quick menu, if I go to camera mode for a second. There I am. In my camera gear. Let's hide the menu if I can. Oh, balls, wrong button. Okay, let's try that again. Quick menu, photo mode. And B, which one's B on here? That one, okay. There we go. Look at me. Looking freaking lovely. The only thing is with this suit is you see how the chest piece has vanished in VR and also the gloves. We don't get given any gloves for this in V. Well, in any mode, flat mode or VR. So you're left wearing whatever gloves you can find, really. It'd be nice to have some flippery hands with the red glowy dots on the centre of the palms like we've got on the bottom of the feet. But yeah, it is what it is. But like I say, people, now that they've introduced fishing, I'm going to be building a lot more little complexes like this near to the coastline so I can do a nice bit of fishing and you know what it's really actually quite relaxing and although that I think that maybe it hasn't got much longevity to it every time I find a really nice peaceful planet that has water I know that I'm probably going to partake in a little bit of fishing just to see if I catch anything interesting I mean yeah I might not do it for long but I can do it for a little while you know I quite like it. And in VR, it does add an extra dimension. I'm loving all these reflections and stuff. Let's bring them in. Let's try just knocking the reflection level down a little bit. Because I'm seeing lots of track lines. I don't know whether you are or not. I'll have to watch this back and see which one looks the best. Let's just try it. Oh, that's, that's a little bit smoother, isn't it? Let's put it on enhance. Let's try that. Didn't even notice a single bit of difference. Let's put it on standard. You know what? I think Ultra looks the best. It's the only one where there's a noticeable difference. And I can actually see the bottom of the water. It looks like freaking glass right now. And look, you can, oh, I can see the ship's reflections as it flies over there. Oh, that is freaking ace. It's really immersive. Really immersive. And you know what? I just want to do a bit more fishing. 
So I think it's a winner in VR. In VR, I think I'm going to have to rate this a little bit higher. Fishing in VR for No Man's Sky makes a heck of a lot of sense. And it feels good. And it just works. And I, I really like it. In fact, I would probably give this a 9 out of 10 in VR. It's, it's actually really cool. It's just relaxing. I can imagine me sticking on my VR helmet after a bit of a stressful day at work. Finding a beautiful planet like this and just doing a spot of fishing, just to unwind. And I don't think I'm going to... Oh, look, there's some like, jellyfish there. I don't think I'm going to get as bored of it in VR as I would in flat mode, hence why I'm giving it a bit of a higher score in VR. It actually feels functional. You know, I'm actually doing actions. It actually feels like I'm interacting with, with the planet, with the actual wildlife with the actual environment. And when it's as immersive as this, with the reflections and the beauty that this planet has brought, imagine doing this on one of those floating island planets without all these base markers. If I can find my own little slice of paradise away from civilization, I think this would really work when it comes to immersiveness and feeling one with the environment, the planet, the game. Yeah, I'm going to give this a, a, nine out of ten, a 9 out of 10 on VR. It's freaking awesome. I'm going to be doing a review of the expedition and also fishing in flat mode. And that's coming soon, people. But VR, this is just... This just works so well in VR. It works nice for VR. It really does. Anyway, I'm going to catch another fish. Let's have a look what I get. Come on! Be a good one for ending off my video. Oh! The fish escaped! You get back! Go on, on a net, one more blinking fish. What the heck happened? Holy moly! We've got a frigate fleet that's just walked in above us, people. Let's have a look at the reflections of those cast across this beautiful lake. Heck yeah. Ah, there we go. We're going to catch a fish as this is happening, I think, people. Timing is everything. Oh, we got one on. And I caught myself a whip scale darter. I'm not seeing the reflections of them on the water, though. Maybe they're too high up to cast a reflection. That's so cool, though. Then again, we had ships fly over earlier, and they did. That's really cool. Oh, this is it's another experience. It really is, people. And then you've got this music in the background, the slow vibes. It's relaxing. And you can see my shadow there on the bank as well. Look at that. Isn't there, isn't there something? Oh, it's, it's just beautiful. I got a little shadow. Hey, goodbye, people in the view of us. <laughs> I'm going to continue doing a bit of fishing, but until next time, people, you've all been awesome. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Captain Steve, Captain Steve.